Hello and welcome everybody to another Star Trek Armada 2 Fleet Ops audio commentary. My name is Zep and with me today are again Becky and Nukov. Hello. So, Becky, will you please Hello. introduce the top player? Up top we have Mighty Master as Teal and he is playing Borg. Bottom in purple mm -hmm. we have All Time as well playing the Borg. Indeed. Today an interesting Borg v Borg match, on again duel to the map. Scouts are meeting in the middle, both starting to shoot each other at immediately, not set to yellow or green alert. Many people like to set their scouts on green alert or something like that, just so they don't shoot at an enemy so he is not notified immediately when they show up on the minimap. Well rather, so they don't see them unless they are showing at the minimap. OTP sending us to his expansion, to his Mighty Master's expansion first. Interesting, but there's probably not much to see at the enemy's base. Although one thing we can look out for is their avatars. And we see that Mighty Master is indeed assimilate. It's an interesting choice. Yes, OTP is optimized. And again on this map, if you can get assimilators out, despite how slow they are, the map is only quite small, so they can be very formidable, but all time, depending what he gets, might be able to outmaneuver them, cause more damage, especially economically, while Mighty Master is held up with a big slow fleet. True. Combat assimilators with their torpedo modules can do a lot of damage and will take almost none from other torpedo sh shots. Well, what's almost none, but I think they take a huge reduction from torpedo damage. So OTP will probably have to rely on beam ships, maybe a lot of small cubes or spheres. But adapter spam, which is also a much seen Borg v Borg strategy, will probably not work. One thing I did notice is that um, OTP is making four miners and Star Master only made two. He didn't make a full That's set of his, his main oh. moves. As you see with his collective connections he has bought resistance is futile. That's why he has so low supply in Titanium too. He is going for out. an assimilator right off the bat. And GP's build looks more standard, he's quit up two probes. He's probably going to pop his first his first scoop now. We will see if that will cost Mighty Master some in the long run. I wonder if OTP has seen uh Simulator's that building going for an assimilator right away. I don't think he has. His scout moved away when he started to build it. He may know that he's assimilate, but it depends if he decided to check the miners or not. Most people don't check miners on Borg anymore. Miners because miners are the one you can see which avatar the Borg enemy has. Because if the tooltip on the Borg miners has a special avatar bonus listed there, then you know that it is optimized avatar, if not it is assimilate, and optimized is the avatar chosen most often. Yeah, all time I'd have assumed he went optimized, but I do not know. Some beam action going on. Now my master's constructor is moving up. And the assimilator is built. What he's gonna do with it that. is moving out. Two top modules, one regen module. Recreating his own detector there. And now all well, time knows, he knows it's about coming. it now. Interestingly enough, OTP has built an interception cube. While they yes, do some extra I damage. Do not why. I wouldn't have personally. Maybe he wanted to raid miners. Maybe he. Or maybe he thought he would be fighting with the like probes and scout cubes. That's probably what he was thinking. Also, he does tend to favor intercept cubes right off the bat. 
against all other races that make sense because the interception module torpedoes they actually do a lot more damage to small ships than to medium and large ships and since that uh, the simulator is a large ship and he has torpedo reduction oh it's only 18 really percent awesome. resistance against torpedoes but still it'll tickle him more than anything well yeah but still his big torpedo will get uh, avoided by most of the probes and the scout cubes quite well as well. Indeed. Plus you can outrun them. Yes. Oh, going straight after the conduction matrix. OTP trying, not even trying to defend. And all time has found Mighty Master's constructor, which is very interesting. What he'll do, I do not yeah, know. Yeah, I'm not sure why he moved it all the way up there like that. Maybe to get a ship right in his face, but it might not have paid off. Yeah, I usually, usually move down to get those ships building a little bit closer to the enemy, so they don't have to fly all the way from the base, but that is always the danger that is there. He's trying to get a collective uplink up now. And all time still continuing to build intercept modules. Indeed he is. I, mean, I, I think, think he that's a bit he of a mistake. Kill that assimilator. With that many ships shooting at the assimilator, he is going to take a lot of damage still. Since most and of the, the damage still comes from the assimilator. very beam. slow, so. He might actually die there. Just from the mass <laughs> and two detectors. Looks like he uh, beamed onto the other one. Yeah, it's almost at half health. That's not looking good for I him. I think all time I will have this. There's no way it's gonna get back in time. And with all that time offensive keeping push an eye on that assembly node with his damaged skew. Probably. Yeah, he might be able to get both of them. Oh, he's but missed Mike with a bit and got his ships out of range. Yeah. So what are you saying? Quite a bit of damage. He's had to retreat a lot of ships. I'm not sure he's going to get it before it gets to the starbase now. Mm, I think still. Oh, uh, he's missing a lot. His mighty master, the torpedoes are missing. So. That one did hit, and that one did hurt a lot, but he's missing quite the bit with the it's torpedoes. Going to be very close. Ah, yes, he's going to lose a cube. Oh! Yes, it's gone. Ah, it's he. They but lost, I think a cube for an assimilator was worth it. That is definitely worth it. He's also yeah, beamed yeah. onto the probe all the time, it's now down to 129 uh, crew. And he can probably even go after the assembly node now. Yes, he does not have the resources to st Oh. Yes, he just got all the resources he needed. More ships he's coming from his base. probably gonna try and stop that assimilator from building. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yes, that's probably the biggest priority right now. And it, there's no Which way he's gonna build. He should get it, yeah. Yeah, that's going down. 30 seconds remaining, that's not going to happen. That is GG. GG. OTP yeah, takes it. Game already. Two games to one. <laughs> Quick indeed.